What's up vendors, Cosmic Vending here and in today's video we're going to be servicing my entire bulk route. We're going to hit up 12 machines in total today which means we've got a lot of refilling to do and of course a lot of money to collect. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video to see how much money we made and without further ado let's go ahead and get right into the video. All right, and for the first stop of the day, we've got one of my three car wash locations. And if you've been watching my videos, you know that these are usually my best performers. And when I walked in, I noticed that my machine was almost completely empty, which means that we've got a ton of quarters in here. In fact, this machine was actually overflowing onto the floor. There were so many quarters packed in here. Now this collection for today, all the machines, this will be a three month collection. So keep that in mind when we're doing the collections today. These machines have been sitting for a little bit, uh, but I definitely did not expect this machine to be almost empty. Now, if you're wondering why I haven't collected from my machines in three months, the truth is you can kind of get away with that in bulk vending. Now, if you've got some killer locations, then you're probably gonna go once a month. But realistically, my machines aren't super busy. I've got some pretty good performers, but uh, they just don't do enough money where I need to go out every month. Now they do pick up in the summertime, so we're going to see some good collections today. But I've also got a handful of locations that really aren't that great. I do have a couple machines you'll see at the end of the video where I have to collect every one or two months because they are busier. But for the most part, this route just doesn't justify me going out every single month, really even during the summertime. So I really just let these machines sit and make money and I can focus on my mini claw machines which really take the most of my time. So for the first stop of the day, again in three months, this machine did $99.56. So I definitely wasn't expecting that much money, but that is an awesome way to start the day. And it's really good we started out hot because over the next couple locations we're gonna definitely come back down to earth. We're in an electronic repair store now and this machine doesn't really do a whole lot of money. It's a small store, people are usually in and out and don't have much time to wait around. I think this machine is definitely employee driven and for the collection today we did $12 from this machine. So again good thing we started off hot because not a lot of money coming out of here. Now we're off to a tire repair shop and this machine is usually one of my slower ones as well. Tire repair shops and auto shops seem to be potentially good locations if you find the right ones but this one's not super busy for me. Granted I do only have gumballs in here but for this collection we did $8.26. So between the last two locations, we did just over $20. Not that great by any means, and this location is going to be even slower than the last one. We're in a collision repair store, and this used to be one of my better machines, but it has since dropped down to probably my worst machine on the route. For this collection, we only pulled $3.25. They used to have an employee here that would eat like multiple gumballs every single day, and he no longer works here, so since he's left, this uh, machine has definitely taken a hit. I was averaging probably $15 to $20 a month, so you can see just how bad that machine has fallen off. So a couple slow collections there, not the greatest, but now we're on to a uh, barbecue restaurant, and this machine usually does pretty well. I actually bought this uh, machine and the location for like 70 bucks from somebody who was selling it, and I've already made my money back over the last year, so it was a really good deal. The machine itself is worth more than that. This is usually one of my better performers though, and the Skittles actually on this machine have been picking up. They were declining there for a little bit. But on this machine, the Gumballs did $25.31, so nice collection there. The Skittles did $9.76, which means altogether this location did $35.07. So that's a nice way to turn things around after the last couple locations were really slow. Unfortunately, that luck's going to run out because now we're at a tractor part store and this is going to be the worst collection of the day. Now I unfortunately forgot to film the money collection so I apologize but this machine only made $2.25. And now we're going to head over to kind of an oddball location. We're in a men's warehouse and this machine used to perform pretty well when it was located up front by the door but they've made me push it back in the corner kind of out of the way. So it doesn't really do that well anymore unfortunately but this time we did $13.56. Next up we're in a JCPenney break room and this machine usually does pretty well and I'm usually surprised because they have a vending machine in here that consists of I think M&Ms or Skittles. I don't know if they have both but there's still some competition in here. Usually the M&Ms perform better than the Skittles and for the M&Ms this machine did $14.75. Not as much as they usually do. 
The Skittles did $7.50, which is about what I would expect from this location. Which means altogether this machine did $22.25. Not the best performance from this machine. I've had the M&Ms do over $20 in themselves, but overall not too bad. We'll certainly take it. Next we're going to hop over to a sports bar, and this is usually a slower machine as well. The lighting in here is never the greatest, so I apologize for that. One good thing this machine has going for it is it's right next to the coin machine, so I'm sure I get a couple extra sales just based on that location in itself. And for this collection, the machine did $12.25. Alright, so now we're in a pizza shop and this machine obviously has Skittles and this machine has really slowed down a lot and I was really surprised when I went to collect today that it did a little bit better than I thought it would. A lot of my Skittle sales were down over the last few months. I don't know if you guys remember all the news about Skittles and how they're not really good for you or whatever that whole thing was about, uh, but my Skittles really took a drop from that uh, for a few months. But I have noticed on today's collection that Skittles have kind of picked up a little bit. Uh, that could partially be due to it's summertime, so you're just getting more traffic in general. I know there for a while some people were worried Skittles were going to be taken off the shelf, but obviously that never happened, and we seem to be good to go on Skittles for the future. For this collection, this machine did $22 even. Alright, so we're going to head over to the final two stops of the day. Both of these are in car wash locations, just like the very first machine that we collected from today. Now all the machines today were three month collections, but these last two machines I did a little bit differently. These are a little bit busier, so I wanted to break them up into two different collections. I already did a video of me collecting from these last two machines, and that was a two month collection. But what you're seeing in today's video will be a one month collection. If you want to watch that video, I'll try to put a link at the top here. Uh, it was a two month collection from these last two final machines. So hopefully all that makes sense. It's still a three month collection. I just broke it up into two different collections. Um, but for this month, this machine did $10.75. When I did the two month collection last month, it was $20.55. So altogether, this machine in three months made $31.30. So hopefully that makes sense. Usually these last two machines are really busy and they were a little slow this month. I'm not really sure why. This time last summer, this machine was selling out almost every single month and I was having to come back early to refill it. But it's still performing pretty solid, so I'm not going to complain too much. For this month, this machine did $19.71. The two month collection I did last month, it made $33.95. Which means for the three month total, this machine brought in $53.66. So from all the machines that we collected from today, our grand total is $315.41. So overall, not too bad. Made over $300, so I can't complain. I do have a little extra bonus video at the end of this. I wanted to show you guys something kind of funny. This is all the stuff that I found inside my machines today. Now, these machines only take quarters, so this was everything that was not a quarter that I found inside my machine. We had 58 cents in change, and that's basically just free money for me. We had a Sour Patch Kids wrapper, and a little piece of cardboard, whatever that was from, and some little plastic toy in here, and I'm not even sure how that made it down the coin mech. I'm really lucky that that did not jam up and get stuck in there. But I thought it would be kind of funny and different to show you all the stuff that I found inside my machines today. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more bulk vending related videos, please hit that like button, and if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've got a lot of mini claw machine collection videos coming up next week, hopefully. I just want to thank everyone for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.